There is a new movement underway in Uganda that's seeking to change the country's political image through a national dialogue. Uganda's media reports the movement is set to begin on Tuesday through combined efforts by civic and religious leaders with a vision to attain a peaceful end to the presidency of Yoweri Museveni. Joining me here in the studio is Arias Lukwago, the mayor of Kampala. Mr. Lukwago, welcome to Africa 54. Thank you. It's my pleasure. Now, your thoughts on this new movement, once it's launched tomorrow, what do you expect to see? Well, from the word you go, it's been a fast, it's an exercise in a futility, because the political environment in Uganda cannot accommodate that kind of uh, process. You know, we have had a president who has been in power for the last 33 years. He has ruled by the barrel of the gun. He's not ready to relinquish power. He has suppressed all forms of organize, organized politics and uh, he doesn't tolerate anyone who opposes him and he doesn't respect the rule of land constitutionalism. Why would you not be a little bit optimistic given that these are civic leaders, they are religious leaders, they are trying to reach both sides of the aisle, the government and the opposition to see if there can be some cohesion? Between... Well, it's not the first time there is an attempt to have a national conversation over the political crisis we are facing in the country. There have been initiatives before. We have had the, the international, I mean, the, the iPod, uh, interpolitical parties, whatever, organization for dialogue, which, which has been in existence for the last nine years. It has not, uh, I mean, come up with any tangible results. We have had things like a national consultative forum. And also, those very leaders who are championing or spearheading this process, the religious leaders, the elders, uh, civil society and other stakeholders have made similar attempts before. For a, a different forum have been created. They have created all sorts of processes. But Mr. Museveni has no respect for such uh, initiatives. And they will not come up to any logical conclusion. So what do you propose should be the way forward? If there cannot be a national dialogue, what next? You say the dialogue uh, per se is OK. There is no problem. Actually, Ugandans across the board, across the political divide, would embrace a genuine national dialogue that is clearly structured, uh, I mean properly structured, with a clear agenda, with a program which is rolled out by all the stakeholders, all the parties, and it is not tailored to entrench one, a one man's rule. We must be clear. We have made our point very clear that uh, we must agree on who should superintend over the same. So tell me. How the, 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 the resolutions from your personal are going to be implemented. Because yes. all you've told me is th there's no way here. What do you see as the way? What I see as the way is for the people to, to assert themselves. You know, we are talking about, um, I mean, the sovereignty of the people taking uh, center stage. In this particular case, if it is to be a dialogue, it must be people centered. Yes, we can have a dialogue, but it must be people-centered, it must be clear on the agenda, it must be structured, and we must have a legal framework for the implementation of the outcome. But this one, which is meant to do the international community, particularly mm -hmm. the Americans here, they are, they actually they are intended to do a window dressing to, to create a smoke screen, to create a facade that Mr. Seven is very accommodative, is tolerant, so that they can uh, now uh, appreciate that actually he is ready to listen to those who are opposing him. Now, Mayor Lukwago, let's talk just a little bit about uh, Saturday's event where Bobby Wine was, uh, the hotel was raided. What do we know of the reasons or how, what's the situation with that? Of course, those are, those are daily occurrences in, in my country. It's the order of the day. Actually, what is happening, it's impunity reigning supreme. We have security operatives who are no longer working for the people of Uganda, who have no respect for the dictates of the law. But they are there preoccupied with regime protection. So anything perceived to be anti-status uh, quo, anti-Yoweri Museveni, will be crushed with brutality. So they see the activities of the opposition, of the political leaders, including innocent activities like a political show by Honorable Bobby Wine and others as a threat 
to Museveni is hold on to power. And the rule is big crush, and that's what is happening on a daily basis. Myself, I've suffered the same, and others, any company you can imagine. Mayor As the Lord Mayor. I, w I wish we had a little more time oh to talk God. about your yes, blueprint sure. for the city of Kampala, especially the security situation, and even getting to speak to the president and have some sort of you know, cohesion on what's going on there. Thank you very much for talking to us. Well, most welcome. Thank you. Arias Lukwago is the mayor of Kampala.